quotes from the plant lady that makes us want to test our own green thumb. But what should you plant first? Marlene, the plant lady, joins us live with more on terrariums. Yeah, hi there. And can be you loud? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Anyways, I'm back with Jonathan at Floriculture. And um, what street are we off of? Uh, we're on uh, Fair Oaks Boulevard, just before California Avenue. Yeah, they're tucked away a little bit back there. So don't worry, you're going to go to the right place once you pull into the driveway. But we're going to talk terrariums because it is a great pull up. It's great to grow year round, but for holidays, it makes a really good present. All the supplies and great for kids and adults alike. And we're going to do a carnivorous one, but we're going to talk about uh, different uh, soil substrates that you could use. So, what are we going to do with this one? Well, for this one, we're going to keep it simple. The carnivorous plants don't need a lot of fancy different types of soils or anything. We're just going to grow them in some long fiber New Zealand sphagnum moss, which holds moisture really evenly. And that'll go in the bottom of the container. You can choose different types of rocks or sticks that you like the look of. Because we're going to use a climbing plant in there, we're going to add uh, a branch in there for it to kind of climb up. Um, you can add rocks if you like. Um, this is a carnivorous nepenthes. It has little pitchers that catch the bugs and eat them. And then we have a pinguicula right here, which catches the bugs on the leaves and a Drosera or Sundew, which has these little sticky hairs that catch them on here. So you sell the you sell all these supplies here, but you're saying that a good place to get the jars? Uh, you can go to Goodwill. Um, these come from a coffee shop that went out of business, and we bought all their coffee containers. Um, but any kind of big jar with a fairly small opening so that it holds the moisture in. If they tend to dry out too quickly, if you look at this one, it has all the humid, the condensation in that side. You really do want to see that. And you can see here, excuse me, um, I drilled some holes in the lid, so if you're finding that it dries out too fast in the house with the heat or the air conditioning on, you can just keep the lid on top. And that'll hold the moisture in and let a little bit of air circulate as well. So besides, of course, just these plants, you could do all different types of little plants for your yeah. terrariums, and you have, you have all the supplies, so what are your hours? Our hours are 10 to 5, Tuesday through Saturday, and we're more than happy to help walk you through the process, or either you, know, you can create one all yourself or just buy the, the parts so that somebody has a cool project. Awesome. Thank you. And uh, I have a few terrariums at home. They're fun to do. They're sort of addicting. They are. Marlene, do you think I should get one for Camby? A lot of care, a few squirts. Uh, no, um, no, actually, buy, get one for Camby. I think she needs some plants. I think, I think she does. Yeah. Oh, she's so I'll, I'll bring saying. her back one. There you go. There you go. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Marlene. Want to look fabulous for the holidays without breaking the bank? Of course, a local online boutique 